This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT English punctuation question. This question is going to ask you um, about this comma here, whether we should have it at all, and if so, where we, should, where we should put it. So let's look at the sentence to see what exactly this value as a man is, how it's functioning in the sentence. So the sentence says, his society judges his value as a man on the basis of his success in meeting that challenge. So we see here that the society is judging, so judging's our verb, our direct object, his value as a man. So they're judging not just his value, but a specific type of value. So this as a man is working to modify value. It's telling us what kind of value they're judging. So we, we see that this judging, the entire object is value as a man. So we don't wanna be splitting that up. We wanna find an answer choice that reflects this value as a man as a unified concept that just keeps it together. So let's look at our answer choices. With choice one, um, we had a comma here. So his value, comma, as a man on the basis of his success. But this is no good because we want, it, we want value as a man, as our entire object, but we don't, want it, we don't want to just say they're judging his value and then have this as a man just floating around here. So choice one is not going to be good. Choice three is similar. It uses a comma, but on the other side. So it tells us um, the society judges his value as a man. It's good because it keeps value as a man together but it inserts this unnecessary comma here. So we don't need a comma before on the basis of his success. Um, it's completely unnecessary. So we wanna get rid of choice three. Choice four is similar to choice one in that it has this hyphen here. But as we, as, um, as we notice, we don't wanna separate this value as a man because that is the entire object that they're judging. So we don't want any separation here. So that's not good. Choice two is gonna be our correct answer. It has no punctuation, so it'll keep value as a man together as our object, and it won't insert any weird punctuation here where it doesn't need it. So choice two is gonna be our best answer.